Oh, good. You ate it. Did you like it? You look like you'll be well enough to go outside soon. That kid's not here today? Xion? She went to pick flowers. Oh. You mind if I ask you something? I'll do my best to answer. Why did you save me? I'm your enemy. I guess you are. But that has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to save you. I didn't care about anything else. That doesn't make sense. I came to this planet to dispose of you realians. You could be executed for saving me. All that mattered to me was saving you. I don't understand that at all. Is it really that strange to want to save someone's life? I've been ordered to kill realians. To a soldier, orders are absolute. There's nothing more important than life. Isn't that true for both soldiers and realians? I want you to live. And because of it, we are here, together. Why don't you get some sleep? You need to regain your strength. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. The food was delicious. I'm glad you liked it. I'm impressed they can grow in a place like this. Guess they haven't died yet. No, they won't die. I water them every single day and give them fertilizer. Oh, I see. Well, there's no guarantee that they won't die in the future. I don't understand it. Why did you want to plant them here? You could have planted them in the flower bed in the rear garden. Because. That's too far away from Mom's room. This is closer to her room. And that way, Daddy can see them, too. I can't really see Supervisor Uzuki having any interest in flowers. <sighs> Listen. You need to understand how the world works. For humans to live, we have to conquer, and destroy, and eat other organisms. That's the most basic function of an organic being. I'm sorry, Xi'an, but there's no point to what you're doing. But that's not true. When pretty flowers are in bloom, they make everyone feel happier. Even my daddy. I wouldn't bet on that. Even Feb said so. And that's why I planted them here. Huh. I don't get it, but if you say so... my day. Well, what do you want me to do? Why are the flowers there? Oh, and this one too. Not like that. You have to be more careful. Otherwise you'll hurt them. How can I hurt them? They're just flowers. No, here. Give it to me. I'll show you how. Okay? What? But hey! <sighs> Fine, whatever. Wow, so this is Cosmos's basic theory? Hmm. These are some excellent calculations. Well, how about it? Is it possible to fix Cosmos? Beats me. What? With this data you brought back, and the newly designed body, it is possible to restore her to her original form. 
then? But even so, there's still too many parts we don't understand. Even if the repairs are perfect, we don't know if she'll reboot or not. She's completely different from Erde Kaiser, the field in which we specialize. Indeed. This thing doesn't even transform, much less combine. What the... That's not the problem! Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. Anyway, we'll do what we can. <laughs> After all, I don't get many chances to play around with this baby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Chief, are you sure about this? If we leave it up to them, they may make things even worse. Hey! I heard that, you! When it comes to robotics, I don't make mistakes. Sit back and leave it to me. Now, all you people here are in the way. Get out! Shoo! Why don't you try out the latest game in the lounge? We modified it a little, so I think you'll enjoy it. Really? Well, I guess it might be nice to relax a little. Let's check it out, Xion. Sounds good. I'll go with you, too. Wait. You stay here, assistant number two. Huh? What did you expect? You're my temporary assistant. Don't tell me you're already planning on taking a break. Right then! Let's get to it, Alan! do this. That was actually pretty fun. Those two did a good job for a change. How do you feel? Do you feel relaxed? Yes, I'm sorry. I guess I've been worrying everyone. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? When stuff happens, don't hesitate to tell us. Thanks. I'm gonna go rest a bit in my room. If anything happens, give me a call. Sure thing. Professor, I finished attaching the exterior. Okay, we're going to try rebooting her. Assistant number two! Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cosmos. It's time to wake up. It didn't work! Uh, that's strange. With the data she brought back, the core repair should be flawless. Where could the problem be? Professor, it's gotta be that! Oh yeah, <laughs> that! Love and courage. Yeah, love and courage! No, I'm pretty sure the problem lies with you two. 
Hey, assistant number two. Y yes? What are you standing around for? Hurry up and bring your lady friend. I want to hear the opinion of a specialist. Hey, I'm a specialist in the same field. Do you expect me to rely on your opinions? Hurry up and call her. Fine, fine. Professor, the reactor output is unstable. Maybe we needed those parts you had left over. Don't worry about little things like that. It's probably just a gauge malfunctioning. Just hit it! I know what is going to happen already. The coming events will bring suffering to countless lives. And it will leave a permanent scar on the universe. But I alone may have a chance to change everything. Cosmos, what would you do? Would you chastise me for being illogical? Just like you always do? Cosmos, would you abandon countless lives before you? Simply because it's the logical thing to do? <laughs> yes? It's me, Alan. Sorry, have you got a minute? Sure. What is it? Thanks. Whoa! What is it? Hurry up, I'm gonna catch cold. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, um, the, the professor. What about the professor? Uh, re rebooting Cosmos isn't working, and he says he wants your opinion. I see. Okay, I'll be right. What? Chief! Chief, are you all right? Chief! Where's the explosion? In Cosmos's maintenance room. What are you doing? Hurry up! Wait up, Chief! Confound it! I'm an old man, for heaven's sake. I tell you, young people these days have no manners! Uh, Professor, violent criminals don't care about manners. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Who the hell did this to our Elsa? <laughs> Captain, leave this to the little master and me. Just take care of Scott and the Professor. <laughs> 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 I wish I knew! The security system is just fine! A fly couldn't get into this place! It isn't anyone's fault! That guy is a monster! Tony! Fall back! You can't do anything about that monster! Out of the way. But, old oh man! Don't worry. I'm perfectly calm right now. Voyager, why are you here? What is your objective? Yeah. <laughs> 
Albert effect? I will need your assistance in defeating the enemy unit. Right. I understand. Come on, Cosmos! Acknowledged. Engaging with maximum attack force. Right.
Ether Drive!
Ether Tribe! How much longer do you intend to keep doing this? Do you really think this will satisfy your never-ending thirst for power? Answer me! Eric! Now do you think that you really won this? This is Chekyo. How long are you planning to play with them? You're taking too long. Return. If she has awakened, then we must devise our next move. ended well for us if we had kept on fighting. Cosmos! Thank goodness. I was so worried about you. Xion, it appears that I have caused you undue emotional stress while my functions were suspended. I must apologize. You should. I was really worried about you. I'm so glad you're all right, Cosmos. Xion. Xion. Chief? Xion. Ah! <gasps> 
Are you... Yoki Mizrahi? Don't you think waves resemble the relationships between people? They ebb and flow, as if feeling the distance between them, and repeat that process eternally. Hmm. Young lady, do you love your father? What? Parents and children, too, could be said to be like waves. Professor Mizrahi, what was your relationship to my father? What good will knowing that do? I don't think knowing that will be of any benefit to you now. I... Words can completely change their meaning depending on the mind of the listener. They can change into good ones or into bad. Some words cannot be conveyed. What one thinks is good will not always lead to good results. You're a scientist too, then you should understand. I still want to know. Without knowing... How do I know where I stand? That man's words are merely shackles. That man? He is a man possessed by his own narrow-minded ego. He brings suffering to all those he comes into contact with. I don't want to see your sad face. Who are you talking about? I don't know anyone like... I promised Sakura. I would make a world in which all wills that have yet to be born can live in happiness. I want you to live in a world like that too. That is my wish. Professor Mizrahi... Don't do anything you don't want to. Be true to your feelings. Do that, and she will answer your call. Cosmos? J Jin! Uh, I... You fainted from exhaustion. You really should rest more. Or you just refuse to hear advice from a quack. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Jin, I... I met Dad. I see. Aren't you gonna ask what we talked about? I don't think I need to. I doubt you were able to have much of a conversation with him. You wouldn't be able to keep yourself composed enough for that. You're being mean. Oh. <sighs> Utic organization had vessels of anima. From what Professor Mizrahi said, they're needed to activate the Zohar. If we can stop their experiment, we can prevent Milsha's space-time anomaly. And if we're able to do that... We might have a chance to save Mother and the others. Also, if we can use the vessels of anima, we might be able to get the energy needed to return to our original world. We might also be able to find out what Professor Mizrahi was really trying to do. That may indeed be possible, but the risk is too great. But we don't know what's going to happen to us either way. Don't try to stop me. This is a past I don't want. I'm going to change it.
Xi'an, you need your past to be who you are now. Yes, that could work. If we had vessels of anima, we might be able to use that energy to return to our original time. We could come under attack at any time. Just being able to use the ES would benefit us. But the vessels are stored inside Labyrinthos. I don't think they'll let us inside that easily. We have forged IDs. If we use them well, getting inside will be easy. At any rate, our presence here is causing an expanding distortion throughout the entire universe. It could lead to not only us disappearing, but the destruction of the universe itself. Gotcha! Get yourselves ready to infiltrate the place! The Third Descent Operation, the Milshin Conflict, is gonna take place in a few days! We have to hurry! Oh... There. We can get into Labyrinthos from that gate. There are guards. We have IDs, so no problem, right? Uh, actually, we can't go any further with these IDs. If there's no other route, then we have no choice but to go in by force. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight sooner or later. Let's get it over with. I'll support you. Systems functioning normally. Level has been switched to A. 
hangar and storage is cut off. Number. What is it, Xion? Cosmos, do you know where this door leads? If it is the same as 15 years ago, the special equipment transport elevator, which connects to the acute neurosis treatment facility, lies ahead. I knew it. It connects to Mom's room. Hey, what's up? Something happened? No, nothing. Let's go.
level has been switched to A. All act. I don't care about you obsessing over that doll of your daughter, but I can't have you forgetting the real objective. The operation has already begun. You and Winnicott formulated it. I don't see why you need me. I'm going to take over the management of this experiment. If you've lost your nerves... Do as you wish. It's no longer my concern. Joachim is Rahi? Daddy! Momo! Hmm? Who are you? This isn't a place for children. Lost.
<laughs> You're not very good at lying, young lady. Do you think you could give me a hand? Oh, okay. What kind of research are you doing, Professor? Hmm? Actually, I'm making a realian like you. What? I'm not a... You don't have to hide it. I can tell. I lost my daughter to illness. I thought that if I could retrieve her consciousness, I might be able to return her to life. So I studied the UMN, the Zohar, and Udu for that purpose. Reviving the consciousness of the dead? Yes. The Unis Mundus network, just as its name implies, is a collective subconscious that's existed since the moment the universe was born. It's a fundamental part of nature. Through my research of the Zohar, I discovered the existence of what appears to be human consciousness within the UMN. Consciousnesses are born from the UMN, and they return to the UMN. If I could discover that process, I could fulfill my wish. But my daughter's consciousness has disappeared. The new consciousness, which is growing, is not hers. No. But I think that's all right. This child will surely become the hope of all realians. That hope may become a way to stop the looming threat of the expansion of the universe. Our second daughter. I'm sure Sakura would have wanted that. Her name was Sakura? Yes. My wife and I came up with the name together. She was a cute child just like you. This world must continue to exist for you and others. I must stop them. Who? Oh, I'm sorry for making you listen to the ramblings of an old man. Now go. I'm sure there are people worried about you. with Daddy. He called me his second daughter. He said he's going to protect the world for us. I... I... Yeah, I'm happy for you, Momo. Security level has been switched to A. All access to standby hangar and storage is cut off. It's a list of the test subjects. 
So, he really was involved with you, Tick. Xion! This name! Yes, it's my mother's name. She was one of the victims of the experiments performed here. She was put here by the hands of the ones she trusted. No, below that! Below? Xion Uzuki? What? Why is my name here? Jin, what does this mean? You know something, don't you? Uh... No, you're the same as Dad. You knew everything, and still you let them do that to Mom. No. Xion, it's not like that. Then what is it? If you haven't done anything wrong, then explain it to me. Xion... <gasps> what? That's... It can't be. Hmm. Are those combat realians? No doubt about it. Those are the prototype combat realians the Utic organization used during the Milshin conflict. Those are the realians that killed Mom. Why are they here? Why? I'd imagine they were developed here. <gasps> no! It can't be! Kevin killed Mom? There's no way that can be true! Xiao! Are you all right? We could cancel this operation. I'm fine. I just got a little worked up. When the conflict starts, this place will be part of the battlefield. It'll be too late then. If we miss this chance, it'll be impossible to get the vessels of Anima. Xion.
All access to standby hangar and storage is cut off. Is it progressive? Lord Heinlein is concerned. Lord Heinlein? I thought this project was under Lord Sergius's jurisdiction. Lord Sergius is only interested in Proto Omega. It's too powerful a toy for that fool. So, while the Federation is easy to deceive, Ormus leaders are less likely to be fooled. The Federation's operation will soon begin. The system must be activated at the same time. The project has already entered the final phase. Dr. Sellers is in charge of the system. I'm calibrating the vessels of Anima. The artifacts of God scattered throughout space with the disappearance of lost Jerusalem. Our objective is to return them to their proper form so we may return to our Holy Land. That is the reason the Zohar and the vessels of Anima were created. So, that's the Zohar. Yes, the Zohar and the vessels of Anima were once one whole. No, it would be better to say that they were intended to be one whole. I understand that the Link experiment has been delayed. Perhaps this project is beyond Mizrahi's capability, Supervisor Uzuki. Professor Mizrahi isn't the reason. We have to be careful since Vabroni is the only usable transgenic type unit we have. She's still disposable. We can always make another. Why do you insist on using realians? You could use those patients for the experiment. Because of fear. Fear? Unlike humans, realians feel no fear. That's why we can use them. <laughs> I've heard that realians feel fear as well. All things fear their own death. But realians are strongly connected to each other by their subconscious. They never reject each other. Even if their body disappears, they are still connected at the subconscious level. That's what makes them different from people. In order to control the Zohar, we must use Lemageton and convey human will from the vessels of Anima via the UMM. But that results in direct contact with Udu, and Udu invokes primal fear in human beings. Humans reject others. Those who are rejected are overcome with fear of isolation. That fear is even stronger than that of death, since humans are weak. If we have the original source of the Lemageton, then things might be different. But we are limited in what we can do with this emulation. It's 
based on incomplete data. And because of that deficiency, we've already wasted one transgenic type unit. Lemmageton? The Realian consciousness unavoidably suffers stress, since it acts as a wall to suppress the human fear of Udu. At any rate, we'll take care of the problems. There's nothing to worry about. A certain company has agreed to support us as well. Of course, it's all unofficial. Vector, I presume. Is it safe? All that matters are results. That's the only thing any business cares about. But if that Lord Sergius learns of Vector's involvement, he's not going to be happy. Then he won't know. And we will have a new master soon enough. I'd be careful saying things like that, Commander. The walls have ears, you know. Dad, I can't believe you. You betrayed Mom, and me, and everyone. This is a nice setup. I'm getting excited just looking at it. <laughs> this is it, huh? Those cages should contain the vessels of Anima. A little bit of this, and that, and enter. Dina's names are here too. There are 11 cages containing vessels of Anima. Simeon, Dina, Zebulon, Reuben, Levi, Issachar, Gad, Joseph, Dan, Naphtali, and finally, Judah. Of those, there are three capable of being operated as ES craft. And as you can see, Asher's cage is empty. Wait a minute. What's going on? The ESs were developed at Vector. What are they doing here? It's just like what Margulis said. Heinlein from Hyams and Wilhelm of Vector oversee the weapons at this facility. The two of them may have made some sort of exchange, which just might have involved the vessels of Anima. Backdoor weapons deals are so common these days, even the tabloids wouldn't bother printing anything about it. Basically, these are so valuable that they're even more important than reputation or profit concerns. Not enough! What are you babbling about? Prepare each of your ESs. Transport them to their respective cargo holds. Now! Scott, retrieve the vessels of Anima. Yes, Professor. a different vessel, but it seems that won't work. Don't tell me we can't use Asher! No, oh, stop whining! We've got another reactor for Asher. 
We originally developed it for Ur Day, so its capabilities are top class. Are you sure it's gonna be okay to use some weird thing like that? Chaos, say something! Well, we'll just have to trust the Professor. And it's not like we have any other choice. <laughs> I have a really bad feeling about this. Okay, this should stop your complaining. It's ready to fight any time. Wow, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, uh, what the hell? Have we been caught? Well, yes, of course. After all, we're using their mainframe to get these things assembled, so of course they noticed us. It's like sending a message. We're using your stuff without permission. Chaos! Oh, well. I guess we better hurry up and get going. What's going on? They're not gonna shut down again, are they? No. This is the vessels of Anima resonating with our wills. What? With our wills? Our consciousnesses and the vessels of Anima have begun to synchronize. So this is what Virgil meant when he said we're being compelled to ride them? But what does it mean? Is this caused by someone's will? I don't know, but I have a feeling his words did mean something. <gasps> if the synchronization continues, it's only a matter of time before the vessels... What is it, Chaos? What? Oh, it's about the ESs. Controlling them is even more difficult than before. Be careful and don't lose control. Right, gotcha. Wilhelm, what are you trying to use this power for? Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. The vessels of Anima have been stolen. Impossible. How? What's the commotion? Someone has infiltrated the facility and stolen three vessels of Anima. Vessels of Anima? Is it Federation soldiers? We don't know. The enemy moved the vessels onto unknown Ames and are currently on the run. They moved vessels of Anima into Ames craft? So they've completed the ES before we did? What shall we do? Prepare the Interstellar Strategic Integrated Weapon System! What? I said get ready to launch! Is there a problem? It's still in testing phase. It's too risky to use in real combat. I don't care. Capture those aims at any cost! Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. I repeat. Presence of intruders
confirmed. Eliminate on contact. Presence of intruders confirmed. Eliminate on contact. up enemy transmissions. If we adjust the channel, it may be possible to listen in. Please try. Intruders. Zohar. Test subject. Provide purity. There's no time. No. Postpone the connection experiment. Number six. Aoi Uzuki is being prepped in hospital ward. Aoi? Uzuki? Transport the test subject. Mother! <laughs> Xi'an. Tell me where you are going. Acting alone under the current circumstances would be extremely... I'm sorry. I have to save my mom. Xion. Junior, look. Xion, where do you think you're going? Xion, it's too dangerous. Come back now. Damn it, we have to get her. We can't. Junior. What? Enemy mobile weapon craft. Get the hell out of our way!
attacking!
Cosmos. What's Xion's position? She's moving through the 13th administration wing. We'll get her back! Junior, we should retreat for now. Retreat? But then Xion will... It's all right. Xion's not a child. She'll manage something on her own. If we stay here, we'll be in trouble. What now? Junior, we won't last much longer. We've got to escape. Now! Damn it! Okay then, let's head back to the Elsa. The elevator ahead of here should lead to Mom's room. The enemy broke through the transport bay and escaped. Send an AIMS team after them. Report to Commander Margulis at once. Let's see. I should be able to get to Mom's wing from over here. Forgotten me? <sighs> I've come back for you, Xion. What? What? What are you doing in here? She's the intruder! Don't let her get away! Come on! Grab her! No, stop, stop struggling! Don't hold her down! Let go of me! Help me, Kevin! What's she talking about? Stop it! Don't touch me! Someone Get shut away her up! From me. 